What is up, party people? My name is Daryl Wilson. Today in this video, I'll be showing you guys what me and my team have been using to create articles that are now ranking on the first and second page of Google. We've been using ChatGPT to create articles for my website and also other affiliate marketing websites. These articles are now ranking on the first and second page of Google, and these articles were completely generated using ChatGPT. Me and my team spent a few weeks researching how to create golden prompts to create high ranking blog posts. A prompt is a simple command that you can give ChatGPT, and most beginners ask it right away to create typical articles like detailed reviews or something very generic. The key is to be descriptive as possible. In this video, I'll walk you guys through a complete tutorial on how to make rich prompts that will get you ranked on the Google search results. Now, creating rich content with ChatGPT is really only half the battle. The other half is optimizing it and improving it for the search engine. There's a lot of things that you guys might need to do, like you might need to update the structure, change the grammar, run it through various checkers, and also add in semantic keywords. Semantic keywords are keywords that are indirectly related to the article. For example, if you guys are talking about WordPress plugins, then maybe something like WordPress hosting might be something that should be included in your article. But when using ChatGPT, sometimes they don't include semantic keywords. So I'll show you guys more about how to include those kind of keywords in your article. So this is ChatGPT. And for those of you who are new, ChatGPT is an AI content writer that you guys can use to create really helpful content for your blog. Now, before we jump into the advanced methods here, let me first just give you guys a warm up here and show you guys some things that you can use to kind of make your articles a little bit better. Now, the first thing that you guys might want to do, obviously, is do some keyword research. So if we're going to talk about like the best WordPress themes or the best plugins, we might need to do some keyword research around that to get ideas for our contents. So the first thing that we're going to enter here is do some keyword research on the best WordPress themes, right? And in doing so, it's now going to do a little bit of keyword research to help give us some topics that we can uh, talk about or create. All right, so here it gave us a list of some keywords that we can possibly use. Now, what I like to do here is I like to get a keyword, right? But you know, using these titles are very generic, right? And if we're gonna create a really well detailed article, we might wanna create a really good title for it, right? So for example, here, I'm gonna take this title and what we're now gonna ask it to do is I want it to actually create a really catchy title, but I want this to be really catchy. So we're gonna include the phrase clickbait. So what we're gonna do here is go to send a message and create me five clickbait titles, titles for, and then we're going to insert that specific keyword. And what ChatGPT is gonna do here is they're gonna create some really engaging uh, headlines, right? So let's go ahead and see what it creates us. So create me five clickbait titles for WordPress themes for e-commerce because WordPress themes is so generic. You know, we, we really have to think of outside the box here to uh, really get users to click on our blog or YouTube video or whatever. And I am guilty guys. I've actually used this for my own YouTube videos because they create some really good content. So here we go. 10 unbelievable WordPress themes for e-commerce that will skyrocket your sales instantly. Woo, I do love that. Unlock the secrets to e-commerce success with these jaw-dropping WordPress themes. Uh, I like the first one. I, I really like this one here. I mean, this one is really good. Uh, 10 unbelievable WordPress themes for e-commerce that will skyrocket your sales instantly. I mean, I gotta click on that. I gotta be like, which, which ones, man? I gotta know, <laughs> you know? So now that we have some more information, now we can go a step further, right? Now, I wanted to create an article around this specific title, okay? So what we're gonna do now is over here under send a message, we can first just write a simple article, right? Let me just get you guys warmed up here. So write me a detailed review on the best e-commerce themes for WordPress. Now, this is what most beginners do, and this can help, right? This will just give you an idea of what ChatGPT can do. It's gonna create a simple article for you and it's just going to start producing some content for us. All right, and just like that, you'll see that ChatGPT has now created a small little article for us 
using the top three best e-commerce themes for WordPress. And then obviously we can use our title here instead of this generic one, right? Because the title here, it's not really enticing, right? I wouldn't click on it. Would you guys click on that? I wouldn't click on it, but I would click on something like this right here. So that's a basic rundown of how to use ChatGPT and how you guys can use this to create detailed articles. However, you guys can go a step further here. Now, most people, when they use ChatGPT, they just ask it to write something. But did you guys know you guys can enter multiple commands inside of one prompt? And that's where the magic sort of happens. So over here, what we're gonna do is, for the first prompt, we're gonna put, create me a detailed review on the Divi theme, all right? So we're instructing it to create content around the Divi theme. However, I want to go a step further here and I wanna guide it. I wanna be as descriptive as possible here and guide the AI tool to do what I want it to do, right? So now that I've typed that in, I'm gonna type in something else in. Use transitioning words and an active voice when writing. So I'm trying to make it sound a little bit more active. I'm using more transitioning words and I want to be a little bit more descriptive to create better content. And we can keep going here. So now that I've entered that in, we can enter another command in. Expand each section. So essentially what I'm telling it to do here is a lot of the times when you guys are using ChatGPT, it's gonna create these really small sections. Like for example, here talking about Shopkeeper, but notice how Shopkeeper is only like two and a half sentences. It's just not enough content. So what I'm asking it to do here is when they talk about a section, I want it to expand upon each section. Now you guys can also do this after it's written the article as well, but I also want to include it before it writes it because I don't want to have to go back and forth and expand the content. If you guys are not sure what that means, don't worry. I'm going to give you guys an example after we create this article right here. Number four, create a table of contents and create a detailed review about each. So essentially right now, what I'm telling it to do is I want you to create a table of contents and for each specific section, I want you to be as detailed as possible. Whoops, I hit the enter button there. So when you guys do add in more numbers, you need to hold shift and press enter. If you just press enter, it's just going to create the article. So uh, yeah. And lastly, I wanna use a really cool uh, strategy here. I want it to use a very positive tone. Now it's really funny. If you guys use ChatGPT and you guys tell it to write something in a very negative tone, they're gonna create articles that are extremely negative, right? So we use this for a Bluehost review using a very positive uh, tone. And they were like, oh, Bluehost is so amazing. Your kids are gonna love it. It's great, you're gonna make money. And then I ask it to write it in a negative tone and they're like, you'll be on the phone for hours. There's no refunds. Your life's gonna be terrible. <laughs> like it was really, really funny. But uh, what we're gonna do here is create, uh, let's see, use a positive bias tone. All right. And then what we can do here is press enter and then it's going to uh, create the article for us. So you'll see right away, it's creating a table of contents, right? And it introduces, you know, various sections, like we have ease of use, customization, pricing, final thoughts, introduction, and now it's going to start the article as normal. So we'll just go ahead and give this one minute while it creates the article for us. And voila, you guys will now see that ChatGPT has now created an article and they've actually used the table of contents to create the article. As you guys can tell, it's very well structured and it makes sense. Here they had a little like typo where they included eight and nine for the introduction and the ease of use, but that's okay. All you have to do is just take that out. But this is an example of how you guys can use it to create optimal blog posts. Now, let me give you guys our actual post that we used to create those um, high ranking blog posts. So the first one, I'll just give you guys the golden prompt here, is method B, right? Now we use this one right here to create high quality content and we use this to rank on the first page of Google, right? Now, right here, we use this, this command right here, but we want it to write a lot of words, but you can't really command it to write a lot of words. I mean, we're getting there, we're, we're getting very close to there, but we're gonna go ahead and take this one right here. And what I wanna do now is I'm gonna actually use this for a real life example. So here I'll go ahead and paste this and let me just go through these prompts right here and just educate you on what we put. The first one was creating a detailed review about this product and we just gave them a link to the product. 
use 3,000 words, use transitioning words and an active voice when writing, expand each section, create a table of contents and a detailed review about each, rename the conclusion title in, into a more suitable one. So sometimes instead of saying like in conclusion, I wanted to say something else a little bit more engaging or exciting, right? Not just in conclusion, very boring. Uh, here we have include a fact section after the conclusion. This is critical. So for every blog post that you guys have, you should always have a fact section. This is great because sometimes under the people, uh, people might also ask, your article might pop up in that SERP right there. So you really wanna make sure that you include a uh, fact section for all of your blog posts. I do have another video that shows you guys how to use ChatGPT step-by-step. It's like a three hour video and I'll leave that video in the description below if you guys do want to check it out. Next we have create a two paragraph intro quick summary of the review. So I wanted to just give a brief introduction of the actual product before just, you know, start spitting out information on the table of content. So I'm like, look, Talk about an intro first, you know, get us warmed up and then go into the outline. And then of course, number eight, make a biased review with a positive outlook. Now, just for kicks, we're gonna do negative outlook this time, all right? We're gonna do negative. We already did positive. Uh, obviously the golden prompt is positive, but we're gonna use negative right here. And let me just show you guys the results. So here we go. Okay, so it finished creating the article and right away the conclusion's great. Proceed with caution. So we did tell it to create a more suitable conclusion, right? And right away they're saying, um, proceed with caution. You might wanna go with a better alternative like Elementor, Divi, or Beaver Builder that's more reliable. So let's just take a look at this, right? Now, one thing too is I had to tell it to write me more because um, it stopped and that's, you know, that's fine. Now up here, you guys can see that it's a very negative article about the Bricks Builder. Now, I got nothing against Bricks. It's a great WordPress theme. I'm just using this as an example, okay? So I'm not being literal here. But the review is falling short in the WordPress page builder market. <laughs> you know, like, I love it how they're just so negative about the builder because I asked it to, right? And here it's like, we will examine their interface and questioning whether there is a better alternative out there for WordPress users, you can tell right away that, you know, you know what the article is about. Now, the only thing that it did weird here was it added more numbers here. So it should have stopped at eight. So you'll see that the introduction is one, user interface is two and so on and so forth. But you guys can see that it creates enough content for every section. So we have around six to seven sentences for every section, which I think is suitable, right? All you gotta do here is just import the images here and that will be a full-fledged article. Now, what we wanna do here is, if you guys decide to go with this strategy right here and use this specific prompt, you guys can go through and expand upon each section for even more content that's more detailed. For example, what me and my team did for our product backlink page is, for example, we'll just find one that doesn't have a lot of words here. Uh, right here, we have customization and design options. And although we do have a good amount of content, I want it to be even more descriptive about this section. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and expand on, and then we're gonna paste that section here, expand on the design and customization section. And what it's gonna do here is obviously it remembers what it wrote. So it's going to actually create a whole nother article specifically about customization and the design options. So let's just go ahead and give this a minute. And look at that. I mean, look how much content has created for that specific section. So just for number three under customization design options, you guys can tell we have a lot more content to add to that section. So what we can do here is you guys can actually strategize and you guys can expand upon every section. In doing so, your articles are gonna be extremely more detailed and rich versus just something like write me a detailed review and it just gives you like a few hundred words, you know? So what you guys can do here is for each specific section, you guys can ask ChatGPT to expand on each section. And obviously it's gonna create a lot more content for that section, resulting in a better article. Now, I, I love this here, you know, here, bear, bear with me guys, you know? So uh, here we talked about like the negative tone and it's keeping that negative tone, right? So another area where the Bricks Builder falls short is the absence of global design settings. Unlike other page builders that allow to define and manage global styles for elements like topography, colors, and buttons, Brick Builder does not offer this functionality. You know, So uh, I just get a kick of it. I love this whole negative review thing. It's so funny, but uh, that is one strategy that you guys can use. I will go ahead and leave this 
in the description below of this video. And again, you guys can ask ChatGPT to expand on every section for more content. So as long as you guys take this same script, you put it in ChatGPT and you expand on each section, it's gonna create massive amounts of content that's also very well structured. So congrats, you guys just came up. Now, let's talk about method A. This was obviously method B and there are some small flaws with method B. One of the flaws is that you guys have to expand on every section, which is a little annoying. However, there is another way on how you guys can write high quality content. Now, once we're done with that, we're gonna run it through Grammarly and also Surfer SEO, and I'll show you guys how to further optimize all of this content. But first, let's just go back over here and let's now talk about method A. Over here, we're gonna go to ChatGPT4. So let's talk about it. All right, now this strategy involves creating an outline before you actually create the article. Now it's very good to do this and a lot of SEO companies, including the SEO company that I work with, they do this same exact strategy for my uh, content on my blog. Now I'm just gonna copy and paste this because I think by now you guys already know what's up. So I'm first gonna ask it to create a blog post outline with the following considerations. The outline is for an article with at least 2000 words. The topic is about the best monitors for gaming. Of course, you guys can change this to anything that you guys want. I'm just using best monitors for gaming, but you can use it to talk about dog pooper scoopers or cat litter, or whatever it is you guys want to talk about. Include various headings and subheadings as well as the starting sentence for each introduction. Now, this is not required. Um, we've found that this works on and off sometimes. You don't have to put starting sentence for each section. So what that's gonna do is just gonna add a quick sentence for every heading and subheading. It's not required. You guys can choose to add that or not. We found that we're very neutral about it. Sometimes it works really well. Sometimes it has no effect. So it just really depends on ChatGPT4. So let's go ahead and press enter here and let's see what this creates for us. Woo, okay, so that created a really long outline. You'll see here that it created a really long outline and for every point, they added a brief synopsis just to let us know and also maybe your content writer, or your SEO company, what we're gonna talk about in that specific section. Now, this outline was so large, we actually had to ask ChatGPT to ask it to tell us more because it stopped midway. So you'll see here how uh, it stopped at number six and we told it to tell us more. So it created a really long outline here as you guys can tell. Now what we're gonna do with this outline is we're actually gonna build on this very large outline. So now I wanna use this same outline to create our next article, right? So we're now going to enter our golden prompt here and this is method A, right? I'll give you guys the whole uh, prompt in just a bit, but here I'll paste this. Now here I wrote to proceed please write an article with the following considerations. So I'm saying, okay, look, you guys wrote this article, please proceed with. So I just wanted to let it know that uh, we're using this outline for our next article coming up because if I put, write me a detailed article about, it's just gonna create a whole new article. So here I'm connecting the outline with our new section here. So expand on each section, use transitioning words and an active voice when writing, follow the header and subheaders in the outline you wrote, rename the conclusion to a more suitable one and include a fax after the conclusion, right? So let's go ahead and press enter and see what ChatGPT digs up for us. Here we go. So it stopped midway and now I'm gonna put in, tell me more to keep creating more content for the article. And we had to ask it, tell us more again because it's still writing the same article. And it finally finished creating our article. Now here at the bottom, it ended the article with the frequently asked questions because we wanted it to. And it created a really detailed section right here. So you can see that it is asking a lot of questions and it's answering them. And this is great because you might end up in the SERP section under people also ask on that Google section. You guys have probably seen it a hundred times, right? And if we scroll up, you guys will see that it has a, a conclusion right here, wrapping it up and so on and so forth. So you guys can see that it created a really well detailed article using the actual outline. And this is a very long detailed article. I mean, this is a lot of content. It really breaks it down. And here you guys can see that um, the article itself looks pretty well in detail. Now we can go ahead and go a step further, just like before, and we can say, you know what? This one section, I want it larger, you know? And you can go ahead and expand now on every section. Now, this is already a pretty big article, right? But you guys can go a step further here and ask it to expand on every section to make this content, or sorry, article as long as you want it, right? Now, one thing I wanna do here is 
maybe we can expand on one section, right? Maybe we can expand on the type of gaming monitors because this is only three sentences, right? So we're gonna type in here, expand on, and we're gonna paste in that section. Here, we're gonna put it like that, just like that. Expand on the type of gaming monitors. And of course, it already knows what it wrote. So instead of this three sentence right here, you know, we're gonna add a little bit more content to that specific section. So now it's going to really, you know, go in detail here. So it's gonna really break it down. And now you can see that it has created a whole new article just about the specific types of monitors. So you'll see here how it talks about types of gaming monitors. It went through uh, each type and then it talks about the advantage and also the disadvantage. So just like we talked about previously, you guys can expand on every single section now that you guys have a really well-structured outline. So the sky's the limit here. You guys can go to every single section and expand on every section. If you guys wanna have just a massively detailed article, you guys can do that and uh, I recommend it, you know, because you can have an article here that really breaks everything down and goes in the nitty gritty of every single topic versus having those very generic ones like, oh, what's the best this? Oh, it's good, you know, free emails or, you know, best web hosting, free emails, for, you know, free domain. It's like, it's so generic, but this right here truly breaks it down to get in the nitty gritty and I really do like that. Now, what we're gonna do next is we created this article, right? But what I wanna do now is we need to actually test this to make sure it's not plagiarized and we also need to improve it for semantic keywords. So let's do that. Let's go first back over here and we're gonna grab the article. So we're gonna go up here and we're just gonna grab the article, all right? And we're gonna copy and paste this into a plagiarism checker. Now you guys can use various ones, there's Microsoft Word. Uh, we are going to use uh, Grammarly for this example. So I'll copy this whole article. And we're gonna go right here and we're gonna paste it. And what I also wanna do for the type of gaming monitors, I'm gonna use this, you know, why not? You know, let's just throw it in there. Let's just uh, grab this. And we're going to go ahead and throw it in there. And the first thing that we're gonna have to do here, obviously, is we're gonna check it for uh, plagiarism, but we're also gonna fix the structure because uh, when you guys copy and paste it from ChatGPT, there are some things that you guys are gonna have to do, fix the structure, clean it up a little bit, right? You can't just publish it directly because there are some things that you might wanna change and adjust. Now, one thing here is I also want to add in my section here, right? So type of gaming monitors, we're gonna go ahead and paste that in there. I'll click on done, all right? And now we just gotta clean this up a little bit. You know, we don't want the A and the number I on everything. So what we can do here is just kind of like, you know, break this up a little bit, right? Add paragraphs and sentences here, right? And if you guys want, you guys can actually take this out right here. And then for every single section, you guys can turn this into a heading text, right? So here I'll go ahead and just, uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of these first, right? And for this one, we'll go ahead and get rid of that. And also this one right here. I mean, you guys can choose to even get rid of these sections if you guys wanna do that. It really depends on how you want to approach your blog. I would not have the introduction here. I mean, you don't need to tell them, oh, this is an introduction. Like, I think people know it's an introduction when they start the article, right? It's like, duh. So uh, let's go over here. And the first thing I wanna do to this one is I want to go ahead and make this an H2 tag, right? Same thing here, we can make this an H2 tag and just sort of make this a little bit more well-structured. So you guys should take your article, put it into some sort of editor where you guys can go ahead and clean it up. Now what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and clean this up. I'm gonna add a little bit more spaces and I'm just gonna clean this article up just a little bit more to make it more legible for the average reader. And after some minor touch-ups, you guys can now see that our article is performing very well. We have a great overall score. We have 2,500 words in this article. And that is amazing. I mean, we can actually expand on every section and we can easily get this article to be like four or 5,000 words if we wanted to. And this only takes us like 15, 20 minutes. I mean, to have someone write that much content themselves would take days. And we did it in about, I don't know, like 15 minutes, something like that. Now, over here under plagiarism, I just wanna make sure that this passes the plagiarism checker. So what Grammarly is gonna do is they're gonna test this article against billions of other websites to make sure that it's not copied and pasted from other contents. So Grammarly found that 5% of this article was plagiarized, but that is a very small amount, right? Anything less than 10%, you're definitely in the green. 5%, really not a big deal. 
all we have to do here is probably just change some wording right here and it tells us where exactly it got the content from so um, I mean, one little sentence here, I don't think we're gonna get dinged from Google for just having one small sentence that's the same, right? So what I'm gonna do here is just go ahead and make some quick adjustments. So I went ahead and changed that, but with so many different monitors offered, finding the perfect one can be a daunting task. So all you gotta do here is just go through some of these right here, change it up. You can see just by changing that one sentence, my plagiarism is now at 4%, which is virtually really low. So you can see that the article is pretty well written and the plagiarism is very low, but we're not done just yet. Now the article here is great. You know, it has a good structure. We have to include some images, but we need to include semantic keywords. So let's just go ahead and run it through Surfer SEO and see what they think of our content. So this is Surfer SEO and this editor here can actually help you add in more keywords and further optimize your article to rank better on the search results. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to copy and paste my article. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste it here. And then Surfer SEO is gonna give it a score. They're gonna give it a lower score, obviously, because we don't have any images there, but that's just fine. Now over here on the right side, you're gonna see that there are other various keywords that we can probably try to rank for. But you can see that actually ChatGPT did a pretty good job here. You know, we are ranking in the green for a lot of uh, these keywords right here. But let's look for something that we don't have any sort of uh, keywords ranking for. So this keyword right here, G-Sync compatibility, is a relatively, I would say, popular term among gamers. So I wanna actually use this keyword right here, and I want ChatGPT just to create a small little uh, paragraph just about this. I don't want it to be too large, but I just want to create enough content so that it could rank on the Google search results for it. So for G-Sync compatibility, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back over here and go to new chats. So now what I wanna do is I wanna actually create a small piece of content that we can use to insert inside of our main content. So I'm gonna use the prompt right here. What are the best monitors with G-Sync compatibility? Here, best gaming monitors, right? Gaming monitors with G-Sync compatibility. Please explain why and make it brief. So I wanted to write enough content where we can just take that piece of content and insert it into our main article without creating like a whole detailed review, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at what we can get. All right, so we have some more monitors right here. So what I'm gonna do here is take these monitors and we're now going to insert it over here. And what we can do is we can just make a small section. So right here, we're talking about monitors. What we can do is underneath that, we can put in what are the best G-Sync? And then here, we'll just insert that small piece of content. All right, so again, you guys can always go back to ChatGPT and ask it to expand on certain sections. And also, if you guys do need other uh, keywords inside of your article, which are called semantic keywords, you guys can use Surfer SEO find out the keywords that you guys need, go back to ChatGPT and ask it to create something that revolves around those specific keywords to make sure that your article is really well optimized for the Google search results. So now that we have this article, all we gotta do here is just copy and paste this onto our website. So here we go, I'm on my WordPress editor here. So the best monitors for gaming, we'll probably change that title, you know, it's a little, little generic, you know. And here, we'll go ahead and paste that. And then of course, the only thing that we have to do now is just add in the images, insert our fill links, and we're done. But that process can take a little bit of time. Obviously, you guys know that you know going through each part and adding in images and the links, that is the actual grind itself. Writing the content is not really the grind no more. It's kind of funny, like before the grind was writing the content. Now the grind is finding images and inserting the links for your content, right? So, I mean, that's how far AI has taken us. And of course, all I wanna do over here is make sure that this article here has a featured image where we can talk about, let's see, gaming monitors. What, what do we got over here for gaming monitors? I don't think we got anything. Oh, here we go. All right, gaming monitors, right? And this title sucks, you know? So let's go ask ChatGPT if they can create something for us a little bit better, right? So create me a clickbait title for, and we're gonna paste that title in there. Let's see what else we got, you know? Cause that, that's a little boring, you know, the best monitors for gaming. You're never gonna get clicks with that, you know? it's We need something really cool. All right, let's just use this one, all right? <laughs> so, unlock unbelievable gaming performance. The top five monitors that will blow your mind. I mean, I love these, I, I love these, uh, these clickbait titles. I mean, th I think they're great, you know? So we're gonna paste that in there, all right? There we go, let's see, unlock, there we go. 
And I think at this point, we're pretty much done, guys. I mean, this this article might even rank on the internet. I, I mean, this is, not, this, is, this is a demo website, but I mean, like, it's actually optimized for, uh, you know, for the search engines because we installed the rank math and we uh, submitted our site map. So it, it could possibly rank. I don't know. But what we're going to do now is click on publish and publish. Oh, let's see here. Oh, they want uh, that. That's rank math. Just, just, just ignore them. They want to sell us something. They want us to upgrade to the pro version. No, thank you. A little bit later, guys. And here is the article. And you can tell all we got to do here is just go to the article, read it. We can add in some images, add in some buttons, and there you go. We now have a fully fledged article that we created using our golden prompts. And in case you guys do want to know the golden prompts, we have method A. And also we have method B. So I will go ahead and leave a link to this specific prompt in the description below of this video. You guys are really welcome. You know, we also do have some basic command prompts, methods for researching topics and other things that you guys can use, right? I think some of the really cool titles is the, the clickbait titles thing. That's a really impressive uh, prompt that really works that I personally use on my own YouTube channel. So party people, hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys can tell that the ChatGPT can really create a large amount of content with the right direction. We created almost a 3000 word article using method A. And I think method A is probably the better method because it allows you to create more content with that really cool structure. And just remember that you guys can expand on every section. So when you guys create these massive outlines, you can ask it to expand on every section and it's gonna create like 500 words to 600 words every section. And if you got like 12 or 13 or 14 sections, it's gonna create a lot of content for your blog. So go ahead and try this strategy. I promise you guys, it will work really well. Let me know what you guys think of this video. My name is Daryl Wilson, and I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.